We saw you play in lots of different positions, both full-back, central midfield mm. at times, even central defence possibly at, at various occasions. Do you think perhaps having that strength of versatility was also possibly a weakness in the sense that you didn't have a, a position focus? I, I think... I think it was. It was in a way that, that, that I could never nail myself to, to one particular position. But, but what I would say is that, that I played a lot of games in my career because I could play in a number of positions. Sir Alex, the boss, always said to me that, that I was such a valuable player because of my versatility. So I rather looked at it as a positive side. But looking back, I think if I'd have nailed a position... Yeah. And maybe probably might have been a little bit more successful. Um, you, you were pretty successful as it was. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> you played 400 games uh, for Manchester United. Was there ever a point, though, where you perhaps got frustrated and, and knocked on Sir Alex's door? At, at the end, I was, I was really frustrated. It was in my last probably 18 months where playing, playing once every two or three weeks or once every two or three games was not enough for me. I was 27, 28. I'd accepted it for much of my career with great players around me. And then, then we had a few players that came in like Cleberson, Jemba, Jemba, and they started to play in front of me. And that, that was a real wake-up call for me that I wasn't going to accept anymore. And you know, I, I spoke to Sir Alex. He agreed. He found it difficult. I found it difficult. And we both agreed that probably the best thing for me as an individual was to leave and it, it took a lot because obviously United was my club mm. but I think it was the best thing that I did. Can I ask you what it's like knocking on Sir Alex's door because he's quite a fearful individual. Well, it, it, it was actually, it wasn't his door in his office, it was his door of his house. I went round to his house. <laughs> his wife, Cathy, made us a cup of tea and, and we discussed my future. So when people talk about me leaving Manchester United and... and and it was probably the best thing that, that, that ever happened was that was the closeness of my relationship with him meant yeah. I could go around to his house and uh, he treated me so well. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.